Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. Well, it is. <laughs> Coming in on two wheels. Rain time has changed. It's keeping me yes, busy. Yes, girl. Well, you blew in here just like this wind that's outside, that strong wind that we're all facing a right nice now. A nice windblown look this morning. That's what you have forward, looked forward to. And, you know, some of us pay good money for that. But today, the atmosphere is giving it to us for free. But go ahead, Mother Nature. <laughs> all right, take a look. As you're waking up and heading outdoors in Decatur right now, 72 degrees for you. There's that breeze that Demetria was mentioning southeast at 7 miles an hour. Now, Monday was the gustiest of the winds. Yesterday was a little bit less. Today is a little bit less, but we started from a pretty strong place on Monday. So yeah, we're still breezy today, even though it's a little less than previous days. What is nice, our dew point temperatures also a good bit less. So we're not feeling nearly as humid today as we have been the last several days. Of course, that will change this evening because rain is coming. 518 on your Wednesday morning and 31 triple Doppler is rain free at the moment. This green that you're seeing is feedback, but the level of cloud cover you're seeing, that is not deceiving you. We are dominated by dense clouds in the Tennessee Valley, and those are going to stay with us today, kind of on again, off again throughout the day. We have a mix of those clouds and sun mixed today with overnight rain. Thursday is it's again a mix of clouds and sun, and then Friday we welcome in those rain chances into the forecast. Either way, I'm leaving us in the green all three days on the three-day threat tracker. Now, you might have noticed that temperature indicator right now was sitting in the low 70s, but look, so is everything up to 8 a.m. When we have cloud cover overnight, that acts as a blanket. It insulates us and keeps that surface heating at the surface. So whether you're headed out the door right this second or in several hours from now, you're still going to be walking outside to temperatures in the low 70s. By lunchtime, we're sitting in the mid 80s and our high temperature today, 87 degrees. So really not too different from yesterday. By the time we get to later, this evening though that's when we welcome in those rain chances now today is not a washout i don't want you to think that today is in fact a rain day because it is not most of us will get to school to work uh, through lunchtime home from school and home from work in completely dry conditions the rain the timing of today's rain is after dinner time today so it starts for us at 8 30 very very light rain developing in our southwestern counties tracks northeast and build both in, both in coverage and in strength through the overnight hours Hours. However, it is just rain. There is not a risk for severe weather with this line, so you can sleep peacefully tonight, but it's kind of good. We're getting the rain that we need for our drought. Granted, this isn't going to do very much, but we'll take every drop we can get, and it's not coming at a point that's going to make us cancel our plans, so that's good news. When you first wake up on Thursday, isolated rain left over at 7 a.m. Very, very few of us seeing it at that point, so most of your Thursday will be rain-free. And there's that synoptic outlook that we've been talking about. Now, instead of one dry line, well, now we have two. We also have those high pressure systems, low pressure systems, a whole lot going on. All of that working with our cold front right here that's making its way towards us. And it is coming. Yesterday when we spoke, it was sitting over the Dakotas, now making its way into Arkansas and Illinois. It'll be here before too long. And when it gets here, it's going to bring us that rain. Now, Friday is still looking like the greatest of the rain days of this work week. And it all starts for us very early in the morning. When you wake up at 7 a.m. on Friday, we're going to see that rain in our southern counties that sticks with us. Though it is light rain, on again, off again through lunchtime, more drizzle at times, a little bit heavier at others, it does stay with us for much of the day. So it's going to be one of those days on Friday of pesky rain, where it's not a complete downpour washout all throughout the day, but you will have pockets of on again, off again light rain from sun up to sun down. Now, our high temperature today and tomorrow sitting in the mid and upper 80s this weekend it's the low 80s and sunshine for the trash panda's last few home games next week it's the 50s when we wake up but nearly 90 for our high temperature well at least the trash pandas can end on a high note because they'll have some great weather they absolutely will and it's going to be perfect to be outside so you know we have the rain coming these next several days but then if you need to cut the grass this mm -hmm. weekend's a good time to do it if you want to take the boat out one last time there take you go. the kids to the park it's going to be a really nice weekend unfortunately though i mean as we saw from the last several days it is yet another false fall mm -hmm. it is not the real thing so not ideal, but it's okay. We'll take what we can get. Well, I know upstairs in the newsroom, they were talking about breaking out their trench coats, the boots <laughs> and everything. So I guess they'll just have to wait a little bit longer. I don't know that that's going to be necessary. And by I don't know, I mean, I'm 100% certain that it's not. <laughs> do not do that. All right. Thank you so much, Grace. Thank you.